Hi everyone, I just have to share this with you. It's another anonymous email, and this time on the angle of attack indicator maintenance problem at Lion Air. The pictures you're seeing on the screen are just for illustration. They're not a Boeing 737 MAX AOA angle of attack vane, but I've had a lot of questions about what AOA vanes look like, and this is a um, ATP training film about them. And as this email I'm going to read out is a maintenance issue, please bear with me to have some pictures while I read this amazing email. I thought I would share a piece of the puzzle that I don't think most of us know about with the MCAS, and in this case, what happened with Lion Air. Why maintenance did not find anything wrong with the aircraft when they had the same problem the day before the crash. And it was written up by the pilots. Not only were the pilot training manuals woefully inadequate, the maintenance manuals say very little about the MCAS. The day before the crash, the aeroplane had an AOA vane failure, but the crew turned off the stab trim motor and continued without further incident. The discrepancy was written up in the logbook, but signed off by maintenance as could not duplicate, system, operation, normal. Then, as we know sadly, in the next flight, the aircraft crashed. What they did not know is that the MCAS software takes turns between using the right and left AOA vanes each flight. The computer saw the mechanics test as a flight cycle and switched to the other vane at the completion of the test. And of course, it then went back to the inoperative vane for the fatal flight. Vital information to know that you need to do this test twice. Oh boy, that's very revealing and literally terrifying. Thank you for sharing this, and it just proves that the truth is out there.